and welcome to TESOL Online, a four-week free online course for experienced and not so experienced teachers who have used technology and those who have not. This is um, a three-section course and you can learn more about it over here under the TESOL syllabus. We're going to take a look at week one. So there's week one. And week one, notice, has a few sections. It has five sections. Let's start with the course navigation and communication, which is the first section. You click on it, and then it'll turn blue. After it's blue, you're going to scroll down. So notice it's blue now. And I'm going to scroll down so I can see what's under this section. And notice it requires you to create accounts on the various technologies on how to create videos. There are a few of them. Engaging activities. We'll be using all of these in the course and also how to create images. If you've got other ways of doing things, that's fine. You're invited to share it with the rest of us. Curation walls and asynchronous learning management systems, as well as synchronous meetings. Notice in the support, you're welcome to ask questions as well as share your accounts. And if you've had any problems, please share that as well. Next is when we meet. This is a choice question. You click on it and you'll be able to access it. Okay, so when you click on it, notice these are the times. Please read the instructions. These are the times so that you know when it's uh, EST and when it's UTC in your area. And then you choose whatever works for you. Choose all the times and days that work for you. All right, so notice some people have already added their responses and you can take a look at their responses as well. Going to click on what's suitable for me. Now I prefer Sunday, so I will choose all the various times on Sunday. Notice there's one over here that was left out. So I've chosen four. Next, I'm going to save. This is really important because if you don't save, it's not going to be available for others and for the instructor to view. Now I've added these to make it easier for us to meet. Okay, so I've saved my choice. I can also remove my choice and add other choices, but this is my choice and I'm done. I can also uh, show chart data. Okay, I can click on that. All right, so how do I go back from here once I'm here? Well, it's called breadcrumbs. This shows where I am right now, and this shows where I came from. And this is the main course area. Notice I was in section one. Another way of going on to the next section is by clicking on next activity or the previous one, or I can, there are lots of options on Moodle, I know, I can go here and choose where I want to go. I'm going to go into the next activity, that seems the most logical one, if I'm in week one. Now notice here, this is an introduction topic, so I can do that, I can go next, 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 I can then make sure that I'm getting everything done that way. Okay, so that's an option going next, next, next. I can also go to the breadcrumbs. As I said, this is where I am now. I can go to the next one where I came from. Or I can use the previous one and do things that way. It's up to you. There are multiple ways of working in a Moodle course. For some, it may be rather confusing. For others, it may be an asset. I hope it's an asset for you. And you get used to it. So how do I do? Add a new discussion topic. Now this is important. You need to add a new discussion topic as well as to respond to other posts. These are posts and you need to respond to them. You click on it 
it opens up a window. You can make it larger by going into this one over here. If you miss that, it's over here. Now I'm using, I see here, it's a an editor that I don't particularly like. I'm going to change it. Okay, so I'm going to go into, because this is uh, Tiny MCE, and I want Auto. And I think that you would like Auto, too. So I'm going to go into my Profile, so I can change into my image there. Profile, and then Preferences. Notice over here, click on Preferences. I'm going to change my Editor. Editor is over here under User Account, Editor Preferences. I'm sure yours is auto because that's the one by default. Notice I have tiny MC and I want the default one. Okay, so make sure you have the default one. That's the one that we're all going to be using. And then I'm going to go back. I can use my back button or I can go into recent where I was or into my courses. I'm going to go into recent because that's the best one to go with. TESOL online. Okay, so we're back here. Notice I'm getting levels. That's for the work that I'm doing. I love that. Okay, so notice this is the blue. This is where I am right now. So I'm going to continue with that by scrolling down to where I was. And I was in the introduction trying to introduce myself. So let me go back into add a new discussion topic. This is how we start a every discussion form. Notice add to the subject line. Now notice nothing is appearing. Don't let that worry you. You may need to refresh the page. So let me do that now if it happens to you. Nothing to worry about. Let's go back into that. And there it now appears. Now first thing I'm going to do is add to the subject line. You could add anything. And then I'm going to maximize this editor by clicking on the arrow pointing down. Now notice here you can also make it larger by pulling it over here. Okay, so notice what's available here on the editor. Lots of information. You can also record your voice by audio and by video. You also have this at the top, but these are shorter ones. So go for the lower ones. They're longer. You add the text. Okay, you write whatever you want. Introduce yourself. And don't forget to post a form. If you want to add YouTube videos, you go to Advanced, if you wish. And then you can do that there. But you don't have to. Notice in this case, it's exactly the same. But when you reply, you may find that it's not, and you will not see the editor. Let me show you an example of that. I'm going to go back to... I'm going to join this one, and I'm going to reply to her. Okay, you need to reply to at least two people. Notice there's the reply button. I'm going to click on it. There we go. Clicked on it. And notice now I don't see the editor. So if you get to this position and you want to see the editor, you go to Advanced. So let me click on Advanced. You're not going to lose anything. It's just going to give you the Advanced Editor. And there it is. There's the advanced. Okay, and I'm responding. The subject is responding to this participant. And notice that's it. Okay, the attachments may appear, but they may not appear. You may not have the option of adding attachments. So that's not always available. Next, after you add your comments, you post a form so that it appears. And then you can go on to the next activity or go to the previous ones or jump in there. Okay, so that's basically how to navigate week one, section one. Let's go back here. Okay, so you scroll down to see what's available in the section. You do each of the sections. Notice there's team selection, which is very, very important. Click on it. And you're going to select your team. Now you can create a team. Notice uh, open from Monday, March 1st, which is today. But it's at 9.32. And right now it's 4.40. So you're going to have to wait until the time comes when you can take them.
Okay, so now the time has come, and notice there are no groups. You can either create a group, or you can join a group. So let's create a group, and we'll be the first ones. You add the group name. Now, I'm going to, you can always change the group name. I'm going to call it, um, vocabulary. I can give a group description or just leave it out. It's up to me. And then I'm going to click on create group. Don't forget to create group as you, okay. So there we go. Create group. As you noticed, there it is. Your group has less members than minimum three, so notice that that's the three. So this is one out of four. I can also leave group. If I find another group that's more appealing, or this group has no members, I might want to join another group that someone else has created. So I will leave this group, group and I'll be able to join another one. All right. So right now, I am going to leave the group, unless I want to delete it. Okay in which case I cannot until I join another one. All right, so keep that in mind. We'll have to wait. So how do I know, you know, um, how to join, who to join, how do I connect? So let's go back here. We can go to the previous, as I said, or we can simply go to this one. Let's go to, to this one, section one of week one. Scroll down and notice what's here there's a discussion form for teamwork this is where i can start discussing what i'd like the name of the group and so on so i click on add a new discussion topic notice i'm in now as a student even though it's nelly but it's with another account okay now notice again it didn't come up so i may have to refresh so let's refresh and start again. It won't happen while I'm working on it or after, but it may happen before. All right, so this is um, vocab. I'm going to add the name of the group. And the message is, um, I have how to teach. So this is something that I've always thought about. I think vocabulary is really, really important. So then I'm going to post to forum because um, I'd like others to join me. Okay, so then we can start a discussion on vocabulary and then maybe I'll convince others to join this vocabulary group. Okay, so this is one way of doing it. Maybe this is your way, but okay, so um, how do I go from here? Well, again, previous activity or the next one. Okay, so let's go to the previous one and see what's there. Okay, this one. So let's go to the next one and see what's there. Okay, and then we'll click on next and see what's there. So this is by discovery. So there's a support form. I don't want to get support. So we'll go to the next one. Oh, the next one takes me to section two. Okay, so this is a good way to stay on track. So notice what's here, um, language learning versus language teaching. And there's not, do language teaching differ from language learning? Hmm. Fill in the following table, so you might want to do that. Notice what's here, optional subscription, subscribe to this forum, or don't track unread. I would track. But it's up to you. You can subscribe to this forum or not. Okay, I would subscribe to all the forums and then unsubscribe until uh, I finish section one or section two in this case. Okay, it's up to you how long you keep subscribed, but you should be able to get notifications if you subscribe whether in your email box or simply up here. You can be notified up there. The way you do it is you go into your profile and preferences. Again, 
profile, click on the image and preferences. And this is where you decide how you would like to be notified. And you do this under notification preferences. So go into your profile, find out what's available there if you're not familiar with Moodle, and decide how you want to be notified. Notice right now, um, by going into forms, okay, so when I subscribe, I will get the following. Okay, so notice uh, here by email, by mobile, by web. Now, web means that you get notified over here. When uh, someone responds to your post or to your reply. Okay, so how do we go back from here? Well, once again, you can go into your dashboard or into recent. I prefer recent because it takes me exactly where I was last at the top. So notice I was in section one, course navigation. Notice in week one, you'll be doing all of these. Okay, there are five sections in week one, so there's quite a bit of work. And again, each section has a discussion form, so feel free to ask in that discussion form for questions. Enjoy your week. And uh, hopefully we'll see each other in the live online event, if you can make it. If not, there will be a recording on either Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. Looking forward to seeing you online on Tisa Online.